You need the help of an allergist and immunologist to get her asthma under control. But you as the mother now, you are gonna be the one who has to take control of the situation at home because her having elevated cholesterol levels, her BMI at the obese category, that is just gonna feed all her other medical problems, potentially decrease her lifespan, increase her risk for diabetes, heart disease, cancer, stroke, osteoarthritis, the list goes on and on. She's nine years old. Yes, yeah, so we've been told that by our other pediatrician. I explained that yeah. to her the other day. I mean, it, I mean, and we, and, but, and we know all, yes. But, but, I'm, but here, here's what I want. I, I don't see any fear from you. I don't, I don't feel, I'm just gonna be frank with you, I don't feel, I feel a disconnect. I feel like, yeah, 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 she has asthma, it's really bad, and we're, we're eating pretty it's healthy. Bad. Oh, yeah, I know it's very bad, because, like, you scared? we explained in the daughter's office, yeah, like, I was explaining to her yesterday. are you scared for your daughter? Yeah, I mean, because, like, like genuinely like, scared? Yeah, because, like, um, when it comes to our health, and any of my kids, I mean, because I have another daughter that's 15, she has a, the closed brain injury from a car wreck. Um, we changed a lot back in 2014. We, that's what made us stop drinking the soda. That's what made us stop eating, like, certain bread, certain pasta, certain cheeses, certain foods that we couldn't eat, because we, I, we want to support her and her getting better for migraines and stuff like that, because they said certain foods were, like, triggered. We talked about this yesterday, that we have changed a lot just do that. So it's not the fact that we can't change and, and, and support and be able to change stuff. It's just someone needs to show, okay, here, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do to do this. I mean, the asthma, yes, I, I'm very concerned because, like I was explaining to the doctor yesterday, as concerned, yes, she goes to the doctor probably once a week. Are you it, concerned that she's obese at the age of nine? Yeah, but, but then when our pediatrician tells me it's the steroids that she's on. But it's not a butt. I, as I say, everyone has oh, a big butt. Yeah. It's not, oh, it's no, not no, a no, butt. No, no. Here's the it's, deal. Bursts of steroids are not good for you, but those are, that's not the reason right. she's obese. Right. It's no, not. It's not. It's not mm. like she's on. Like, there are transplant patients who are on steroids right. every day. Different ball game. You know, their central obesity and moon phases. What we did yesterday in doing the blood work was to say, okay, let's look at her cholesterol. She even has evidence that it's affecting her liver. So we got to, we've got, and that's her obesity. That's not the steroids. So, so that's so the you gotta, So you got to no get, and, and, he, and this is going to be the last comment I want to make before we go to break. It's not her steroids that are causing her to be obese, it's the food she's eating. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that, you know, they're so that you Okay, so if that's it. Yeah. Period. And so we have to acknowledge, if you acknowledge that with us right here, right now, yeah, I mean, I that's why you're here, because we want to help you. Yeah, it's the food, what... it's not our steroids. It's the food that, it's the food. And here's what I want to leave you with, June, before we go to break. You have made changes. You made them in yourself. You think that you lost 120 pounds by doing nothing. No. I can guarantee you that's not the case. Well, maybe you're more active with the show. And you're, a honestly. lot of things. <laughs> you have to change the way you're eating, and you have to be more active. And you have already had incredible success with that. Have you made changes? Yes. Have you avoided certain foods for your other daughter? Yes. yes. And there, there's a spectrum, right? Some foods are better than others. But there are some foods that are just not good. It's like saying smoking cigarettes is, yeah, it's no, not that great, but it's better than smoking crack. <laughs> right now, I don't want to Right now, you. what she's eating is the equivalent of smoking crack. And it's That's important. how you Any, have to look at Anyone watching at home, you know, when we talk about these topics, it's important. You know, one study in children, kids who literally had one sugar-sweetened beverage a day, their risk of obesity was increased 60%. So we can all learn from this. This is what this is all about. We want you to learn today. We want people at home to learn. This is all interconnected. And Dr. Schulte, I want to thank you personally for yeah. oh, taking a pleasure. look at Alana. And yeah. Yeah.